This program is brought to you by Thai Vision Media, helping stockfiles and burial societies reach their goals. Welcome to Gizaka Stockfell Insights, a platform where Stockfell and Burial Society members learn more about the world of business and business leaders get to understand Stockfells and Burial Societies a whole lot more. If you would like us to answer some of your questions, please do send us a voice note using the number below. And you can also contact us using the email info at thaivisionmedia.co.za. Or if you would like to share some thoughts, please do follow us across the social media platforms below. Today, we are going to slow things down a bit and focus on group constitutions and what it takes to start a stock file group. Joining me in studio is our resident guest expert, Tabiso Masurubele from Thai Vision Media. Before we get into the discussion, this week's question is from Buffalo City Progressive Ladies. Hello Kizaga, I am Mam Sinazo representing our Stockfell Buffalo City Progressive Ladies which we started a few years ago and our members are in Gauteng and Limpopo. When we started it was very informal and we did not think it would grow this much. There is 21 of us in the group and the challenge is that we do not have a constitution that guides us and it creates problems. We want to know how we can draft a constitution but we don't know where to start and what it does need to include. The other problem is that we don't always have meetings because we do not stay in the same province, but we know it's important to meet regularly. So how do we manage this? Stockfells generally have a constitution which dictates the size of the contributions when the accumulated money is to be paid out and the roles and responsibilities of the members. The failure to structure an effective constitution can result to your Stockfell group collapsing. This show aims to give you a guide on how to start this process. Ntate Masurubele, first question. How does one get started? I think you get started by getting together as a group of people and making sure that you've got the same values and you're working towards the same collective goal. I think for me that's, that's the most important element, that it's a group of people, you've got the same values, you share the same ideals, and then you all want to achieve the same objective using the vehicle of the collective. Uh, from that fundamental base, you can then work on the other details on how to achieve those collective goals that you've identified for yourself. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> I mean, usually group projects, they don't mm. go so well. Yes. And especially in this case where Umam Snazo mentioned that there are a group of 21 members, but there's already chaos. So what are some of the things that members or individuals who are looking to starting their own stock fell, what can they consider? Again, over and above those elements that I spoke about, the fact that you've got to be on the same page in terms of why you're joining the group and the expectations that each of you have is the same expectations. So you can't have one person expecting that, let's say in the case of a stock file, you're going to get a payout in a month and the rest of the 20 members are expecting their payouts in 12 months. That will lead to conflict simply because you weren't very clear and you didn't set out these very important principles when you got together and everyone, you didn't ensure that everyone was on the same page. Over and above those elements, you know, there are things such as commitment and discipline uh, that become important for Stockfells. And I think commitment talks to the fact that you're going to stick it out. You know, the fact that there will be times when you have challenges in terms of either attending the meeting or making the contribution but you've got to have the discipline and the commitment and the drive to want to be part of, of that particular group. In, in essence, you have to prioritize the group over many, many things that are happening in your life. I think when we look at the case from Buffalo City Progressive Ladies, 
there seems to be just a stagnancy when it comes to electing a chairperson. What is the process with that? Because here it seems like there's a lot of alpha male and females and everyone has a strong personality and everyone wants to take on that role. I think, again, it talks to how people perceive these roles to be. I think, to be quite honest, a lot of these roles, people use them for purposes of promoting their own ego. And it has lesser to do with the requirements of that particular role and the capacity that people should have in order to be allocated those responsibilities. Then, then what is the role of a chairperson? The role of a chairperson uh, is something that, you know, there are some elements that are required for the role of, of a chairperson. That's to lead the vision of the group, make sure the group achieves what it wants to achieve, make sure the group is functioning well. But all of those things come after having identified that we are all in this for a particular reason. Then that makes the role of the chairperson much easier. So the role of the chairperson in the event that someone begins to move away from the initial objective of the group. The role of the chairperson would be to bring those individual members back to say, remember why we all joined and why we all committed to following this particular constitution. So it's a general, broad leadership role, but one that seeks to make sure that the stock file succeeds. And how does it make sure that the stock file succeeds? Making sure that regular meetings are had, making sure that minutes are kept. So, and this almost guides you. Uh, the initial question was, you know, what, what's the process? You then have to look at what capacity is required. You have to have certain traits as, as, as a chairperson. You have to be punctual, you have to be committed, you have to be goal-driven, and all of those things. And also importantly, you have to have the respect of the other members. And so, if you don't necessarily have the adequate respect of the other members, it's going to become very difficult for you to chair that group. And then you'll start seeing problems because you'll then have people at every corner uh, wanting to chip away at your leadership, thinking they can do a better job than you. So it's very important that you have the backing and support and respect of the other members within your group. And I think the voting system here would probably be the best solution for them to lock down the chairperson that they need. In some instances, yes, but not always. How come? Because remember I said it's almost like, you know, when you go and you fill particular roles within organizations, and we always move from a premise that says we look at stock files as organizations. So you look at what are the traits that are required for this particular role. Is someone respected by all the members? Is someone punctual? Are they worthy of this role? And, and, and. So you look at all those requirements. You then look at the people who would have raised their hands. You then, you know, sometimes people then, you know, they don't make it to the short list, as it were. So voting doesn't necessarily give you the, the skills capacity that you need. So you might have, voting will only result in the most popular person being the chairperson. Uh, and so you're not necessarily looking for the most popular person, as I said. You're looking for someone who's well-respected, who's knowledgeable, who has all these other traits, and not necessarily the one trait of being popular. So voting will only give you a popular person, and that popular person might not have all these other traits. You then have challenges within the stock file. Sometimes the stock file even collapsing based on the fact that the process to elect not only the chairperson, the leadership of the stock fell is inadequate. And you can apply the same principle to the different roles that you need uh, within the stock fell. Well, we have lots more to unpack. Stay with us as we will be back after this short break. Are you a member of a stock fell or burial society? We at Tire Vision Media specialize in helping stock fells and burial societies. Contact us for professional stock fell and burial society administration, access to investments and funeral cover experts, and credible financial information. We will help your stock fell and burial society to achieve your goals and grow. Contact us today.